Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I went out grocery shopping uh, today and at Walmart all of their Valentine's Day stuff was marked down to 75%. So I went ahead and picked up some things from there that's a Valentine's Day clearance, some things that are not. And then I went to the Dollar Tree um, and I only found a couple things there. They haven't yet started putting out their Easter stuff yet. Um, and then I also went to Dollar General and got some more things on Valentine's clearance and some things that are not on clearance. But so this is kind of gonna kind of gonna kind of be a collective haul um, of Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Dollar General. Um, my area is not yet putting out too much Easter stuff. I have snagged just a couple Easter items, which I'm a little sad about because I was really going to start working on some spring Easter themed pocket letters and things that I am involved in on other people's channels. Um, but I guess I will wait and try next week. Um, I did finish getting together my prize packages for my 100 plus subby challenge giveaway and I finished the little handmade project that I was going to do for those and I've gotten those packaged up so they will go out at some point next week um, the soonest available time that I can get to the post office with my work schedule I'm not sure exactly um, what day of the week I can get there if I don't get there by Friday then I'll definitely get there Saturday morning because I'll be off that day. Um, but I'm going to try to get them out, you know, one day during the week if I can swing it. If I can get out of work before the post office closes. Um, so anyway, just a little update on the prize packages for the challenges. Um, and we will start with Walmart Valentine's Day clearance. So the first thing I found were these four packs of crayons. Now I know this sounds silly, but some of this stuff I particularly picked up because we are getting ready to go down to Kansas City um, the third week in March and um, for a short, quick little four or five day vacation. My husband's family is from there, so we're going to go down there and do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and especially me, I'm going to be doing a ton of shopping while I'm down there. So I haven't really been, if you've noticed on my channel, I haven't really been hauling too many things. It's because I've been walking in the store. And of course, if there's something there that I like, I'll buy it. Um, but if I haven't found anything inspiring to me, then I've just been leaving it there at the store um, and saving up my money for my Kansas City trip because they have you know, um, several Michaels down there, tons of Dollar Trees, and um, Tuesday mornings in Joann's down there. So I plan on going, doing some serious craft shopping while I'm down there um, for that weekend. So that's the main reason why you haven't been seeing too many haul videos is because if it's stuff that I don't think I'm going to use or stuff that is really not something that I will use, I'm not taking the time to pick anything up because of that reason so but Valentine's Day 75% off these the reason why I'm showing you this stuff is because whenever we Kansas City is about five hours for me so before I'm getting ready and getting prepared for that car trip with the two little ones um, the the 15 year old the 14 year old he's um, not really that hard to keep occupied during a car trip you know, he's got his phone and his tablet and all that jazz. And we do have, you know, um, TV for the van and stuff, but five hours in a car ride is not something that's really that great um, for children. So I've been, I will put together um, travel packs for them. They'll each have their own backpack. And as I get those put together, um, I will update you and show you guys because I did this for our trip in Alabama and I didn't have a YouTube channel then, but I wish that I would have because that was a serious um, effort on my part to put together their travel binders and stuff. And it's really cool and I'd like to show you guys that. So as I... Um, get those things going and put those things together. I'll come on and show you guys what I'm doing. Um, but some of this stuff that's on Valentine's Day is going to end up in those packs like these crayons right here 
for Liam, they're Ninja Turtles, but they were 30 cents. And, you know, these travel things, they get destroyed in the car, either on the way down there or on the way back. So I don't feel near as bad about pitching this stuff once we get home or even once we're down there um, by the time we get down there because it's relatively cheap. So you will see me um, collect things and then when I put everything together, you'll see how I do that. But these crayons were on Valentine's Day special for 37 cents. Um, and these are, would be really great for Liam, so I went ahead and picked those up. I picked up these game tablets. They have word search, tic-tac-toe, mazes, and more. Um, these are mostly for Jack, because Liam's still a little bit too little to, um, do, like, little games. But there's a six-pack in here, and I will probably just take a couple of them out and bring them down with this. Um, and like I said, it's Valentine's Day themed, but you're really just looking for small, little, cheap things, um, that the kids can do just to keep them occupied for five hours in a car ride. Um, and these were 24 cents, so I went ahead and picked up some of those. Um, I picked up these little Paw Patrol pins. These were also 24 cents, um, and they're just the little gel pins, and they'll probably end up between um, Jack and Liam just to doodle and color and carry on. And then I picked up two of these, and... One is just for around the house for like homework and stuff because Jack um, does a lot of homework and then one will sharpen and take with us on our trip for Jack. Liam really is not into the whole pencil situation. If it doesn't color, he ain't having it yet. So anyway, for 24 cents, you know, you can use those around the house and then of course we'll take a set with us in his little travel binder. And then I also picked up this little thing for um, Jack as well. I wish this was the only one that there was. I wish there was two because this little notepad, I think, is blank on the inside. And um, Liam could have really colored on the notepad itself. But I only found one, and again, it was $0.24, cents and it comes with a sticker pack in the back. The original mechanical pencil right here, which I will probably take out because it's so pointy and I will put it in my pencil cup on my desk um, and it comes with a pencil sharpener which I think is funny since it's got the original mechanical pencil in there um, so we will replace this pencil for these sets of pencils and take those with us um, and that'll be something Jack can doodle on whenever uh, he's in the car and then I found some treat bags and these treat bags were 24 cents and I'm just going to stash these away for next year's projects for Valentine's Day and for school I do the treat bags for you know the kids of school and so I buy a lot of different treat bags so and I like to use them in packaging in my you know projects as well and this one here was um, I think 47 cents because originally it was a dollar 88 <coughs> sorry guys I have this um, everybody who's been watching my channel knows I've been sick and now it's moved into my chest so I've been um, giving myself breathing treatments and things like that because it's like upper respiratory infection now so um, if you hear me hacking I took a breathing treatment right before I started this video because I have some things that I have to get done um, some videos that I need to put out so I can um, get all of my Valentine's Day stuff put up. I'm working on getting all of my, I'm done with my Valentine's Day stuff, guys. And I am getting ready to put all of my Valentine's Day stuff away. And I am putting, getting ready to start pulling out my spring and Easter stuff. Although, I don't have, you know, I didn't start collecting until uh, the uh, like November and fall of craft supplies so I don't have a ton of spring stuff but I'm gonna go through um, things that I've gotten that I can use for spring and maybe try working on a couple projects I'm also gonna be finishing up my stick pins and my altered box for my Facebook swaps this weekend and hopefully get those out with my prize packs um, at sometime this week coming up um, 
Uh, so these here were another little clear treat bag, and I just thought they were so cute. I did not see these at Walmart um, when the Valentine's Day stuff came out, or else I would have most definitely have bought them because I think they're adorable. I think these are too. These are adorable too. Um, but anyway, these were 24 cents. And then I don't know where these these dudes were hiding out either during the holiday season. I mean, but come on, look at them owls, guys. So cute. Um, anyway, these also were 24 cents, and there was only two of them, so I picked them up. Um, at 24 cents, I don't mind hanging on to those for um, the until next year. And then I found these, also did not see these um, stickers. These are Hallmark stickers, and originally these things were $3, and I paid $0.74 cents for them. And you guys can't probably can't tell, but there's two of them in there. There's two sheets in there. Um, and I didn't see these when the Valentine's Day stuff came out either, but they are like the um, thick epoxies. Um, and so they originally were three bucks. I got them for 74 cents. They are super cute. I don't mind hanging on to these until next year either. And I'm probably only going to hang on to one. I might send my sister one. My sister's starting to get into crafting and she had sent me a whole bunch of stuff. And so I'm trying to collect some of my things that I've collected and send her some of the stuff I have as, as well. Um, I've already got her packaged up a package already, so this might go, one of these might go out in the next one that I send to her. So I picked up two because I just think they're so super cute, and they've got like little, they actually have little, um, flowers on, on them. I don't know if you guys can see that on the inside, but, um, I didn't see those during Valentine's Day. It must have been over by like the card section because they're Hallmark and not like the Walmart brand so that might have been why I didn't see them because you know we all make our own cards we I have no reason to go into the card section itself um, and then I just found these two little um, bendable figures and I know what I was really looking for were the frog pieces for um, Brandy over at Left Handed Crafter but I never could find them my store never got any of the frog pieces um, but I wish that these were 24 cents too. Um, and I'm just going to put them into the kids' little... Another thing that I do whenever we go, we travel, and it's quite a bit of ways. I do like these little prize buckets. And if they have done what they're supposed to do and have been nice and calm and have listened during the call, car ride, they can pull out of the little prize bucket. And so that will go in there. As well as these... I know these are Valentine's Day, but I don't know about you guys, but my kids just, you know, go crazy over glow sticks, glow wands, glow everything. So I figured this would be something fun to put in their um, travel packs. And, um, you know, when we're at the hotel and stuff, we can pull these out <coughs> and play with them. And for 24 cents, I mean... I only got two, obviously, because the big the the teenager he's not gonna have anything to do with the glow sticks, but the two little ones would. And then the last two things I found at Walmart, they were starting to put out some of their um, Easter things, and so this was the only Easter sticker set that I found at my Walmart so far. But like I said, they're just now putting the stuff out. So I think probably next week I'll have a little bit more of a variety, and I'm gonna try to get. Um, we go to Kansas City on St. Patrick's Day through that weekend, and so I'm going to try to get um, all of the projects that I have coming up for the entire month of March done in the next week or two and get everything sent out because when I come back, I will have a ton of hauls to film, and I'm also going to probably do a real short giveaway and then I'm probably going to do a challenge as well at the same time um, when I come back because I, I going down there in intentions on getting some cool stuff for prizes um, at the craft store so that's the reason why um, I won't probably do another challenge until I come back but I'm limited here um, where I'm at as far as what I can find and so 
this the prize packages for this last challenge that I had is a lot of like Walmart things or Target things that I found at the Goodwill or um, a couple things from Tuesday morning that I found the last time I was in Cape Dollar Tree things things like that and of course I handmade something for them um, but the next one I want it to be something probably like one big prize for two, you know, two prizes, but, you know, something big, like one big thing or something. I don't know. We'll have to see what I can find when I go down there. Um, so that's the thing. I'm going to do a flash giveaway when I come back, and then I'm going to do another challenge when I come back, and um, we'll see how it goes. So my plan is to get all of my things that I have committed to done before I go down there, and then... Um, we'll start the challenges again whenever I get back. Um, and so the other thing I found at Walmart, the last thing that I purchased at Walmart, was this 24-piece confetti of these eggs. And they are like doodled on. Some of them are glittered, as you can see on the back there. Like one side of them is glittered. And then, let's see if I can just open this real quick for you guys. Like these look like they're doodled on and then one side is glittered and one side is not. <clears throat> That's a speckled egg, if you guys can see that, and it's just glittered on the other side. I thought they were super cute. Um, that one's kind of doodled on. Looks like, uh, they look like they, you know, are dyed almost. Where you got the lighter color and then the darker color, you know, like you would on a dye. And there's 24 pieces in there. And... Um, for 98 cents, I thought that was a pretty, you wouldn't find anything different, anything cheaper at Dollar Tree or anything like that. So I found those and that was it for Walmart. I did go into Dollar Tree and they have not started putting their, they had a couple Easter items. Um, I only picked up this one foam shapes of these, um, rabbits. Um, but this was the only, they didn't have a ton of their Easter stuff out. They didn't have, a, my Dollar Tree's really been sucking the last couple of, since after Christmas, after Christmas, I would say. Um, I was not satisfied with their Valentine's Day selection, and I was not, and so far I'm not impressed with Easter either. They had these foam shapes, and then they had the eggs. Sorry about that, guys. Um, they had these foam shapes, and they had the eggs, but the eggs I wasn't too impressed with. Um, I almost, if they would have been paper, I would have tried, I would have picked the eggs up and tried to fringe them and make them like the fringe hearts, but um, I don't think that fringing foam is that great of an idea. Um, so... And it, needless to say, I didn't pick the eggs up because I wasn't, like, too impressed with them. But I did pick up these, and I think I'll try to make some shaker somethings with these. <coughs> or something. I haven't decided. But I thought they were cute. I like the colors. I like that blue um, in the back of there. So you get, like, pink, you get the yellow, and you get the blue. And there's 12. So there's going to be four of each color in there. And I thought that was shiny and pretty, so I picked it up. Then the only other like springish related item that I picked up was this sequence. Now this is the first sequence um, ribbon like this that um, I have seen at my Dollar Tree. Not just because it's spring, but in sequence ribbon in general, this is the first one that I've seen. Um, and it's kind of like a pearl, like a lilac-y blue iridescent color. And it's like mermaidy almost. But I'm going to use it for some spring projects, I believe. So I picked that up. And then the only other two things I bought at Dollar Tree were these sticker sets right here. Um, and these are so pretty. I won't use them myself, but I they're going to somebody specific um, in one of the um, packages that I'll be sending out once I get the project done. That one there. And also this one. Um, sorry about that darkness and glare. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I just thought they were super cool and um, pretty. And the person they're going to will love them. And that's the reason why I picked them up. Because I thought of the person as soon as I seen them. 
Okay, so now to Dollar General. Dollar General's Valentine's Day stuff was at 50% off. So I found these envelopes, which they did not have out um, at Valentine's Day. Like there is two, there was two whole boxes of these just sitting there in the clearance, on the clearance um, thing. And I was talking to the gal that is the manager there at the Dollar General, and she's like, we totally forgot to put these on the shelf. So now we have two boxes that are just going to be clearanced out. And I'm just like, that's crazy. So they had the pink ones. <clears throat> and then they had the red ones, but I'm not a big super huper. I, I prefer pink over red, so I just picked up two of the pink ones, and I will just hold on to these and save them for next year. Super cute. Um, and then, not that this is that important. This is not crafty, but it's in my stash here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. I don't know if you guys have eaten these guys. These are Cherry Punch Sweet Tart. Um, soft chew ropes um, these are the bomb I mean these are like the best things on the planet I don't know if you guys have eaten these but my kids love these I love these they got like this the fruit punch filling in the center of them there's like four of these guys anyway their candy was 75% off not 75% off 25% off so I picked up the kids each one of those if they're lucky, they might get them. I might just hang on to them for myself. And I found this one lonely sticker set um, of laser epoxy stickers, 40 count. Um, and they were 50% off, so I paid 50 cents for that one. And then I found these gems. These are just uh, two paper gift bags. But after Micheline from Nevis Native have sent me that flip bag... Um, for my challenge, I just am going to save these for next year, and I'm going to do some flip bags next year. Um, and I'm just going to take the this part of it off. I can take this out and just cut this part down and use it like a flip bag, which is like a flip bag book. And um, yes, please, I'm so excited about it. I could probably get away with using these for... Um, not Valentine's Day, maybe not this one, but the back one, it just says hugs and kisses, love you, um, give me some, well, that says give me some sugar. So yeah, I'll probably just wait till Valentine's next year and use these for Valentine's, but I couldn't pass them up because I have every intention on doing, um, that flip book bag idea that Micheline had sent to me. So thank you for the idea. I'm totally going to borrow it and tweak it and work it into my own little thing but I just thought these were so cute um, and so yeah for 50 cents you get two bags so you're paying a quarter for a bag um, I just wasn't gonna pass that up so and if they had more of them they did have another style of them but I didn't particularly care for them so I didn't buy those um, but um, if they would have had more of these I probably would have picked up more of them Anytime you get, I like the paper, I'm not a big fan of the, I like gift bags, but I like the paper ones. I don't like the other plasticky, whatever those things are. And then I picked up this, this box. Now this box was not on clearance, but this box, I can't hardly get over how this box was only a $2 box. Like, Dollar General is like really um, stepping up their game on these um, gift boxes that they have been having in their store. Um, I just love the colors of this. They've been, um, and this guy opens up, there's the inside of it. It's probably, I want to say it's probably like a 5 by 7 box or close to it give or take. It doesn't tell me on the bottom. But if I was to measure it, oh here I got a ruler. We got might help if I was not in centimeters. How about that? It's like um eight and a half long and almost six wide. So I'm altering this box I've decided. I mean this box is gorgeous just by itself. But I'm going to change it up and make it even more beautiful, I think. 
Um, but yeah, it, I just love the colors of this box. It's springy. It's pretty, you know, believe in something wonderful. I love it. I love the feathers on there. And um, yes, that's what I'm doing with that box. Um, so yeah, guys, that is it for all the shopping. I think altogether, everything that I bought today was less than $10. So, and it was probably more like eight bucks, I would say. So anyway, that goes my um, collective haul. Um, and that does it for this video. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done. I'm gonna put away all my Valentine's Day stuff and start working on the next projects. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.